This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everybody. Hopefully we can finish up the Inherited Turnabout, well, end part one, and move on to end part two of eight. <laughs> I, I mean, it feels like it at least. Like I've said, this is the longest case in the game, and da, definitely da, da, a top da, contender da, for the longest case da, in the series, but I still think Rise from the Ashes is a little da, longer. Da, All this, right. I, it feels longer. Well, we've also spread it out more than Rise That's from true. the Ashes. That's true. Rise from the Ashes, we, like, tried to get super quick. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who do, were we talking to. Do. Delisha. We. Do, do. Yeah. Ooh. Delisha, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, of course. Anything for Miley and Kayfe? I'll listen to whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. And stop calling me Kayfe. Fly, that's out of the question. I can't just change a name I've already decided on. Yes, you can. Ugh, even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. Oh, now we can present our attorney's, or er, prosecutor's badge. Oh, didn't Greggy have a different badge? Yes, my father was a defense attorney, and I chose a different path than my father. Ah, uh, I see. So that's how it is. It can't be helped, eh, since you are at that age. But when you get a bit bigger, I'm sure you'll understand that your father loved you. Everyone goes through the rebellious phase. There's no reason to be ashamed about it. What? I didn't become a prosecutor because I was in a rebellious phase. Yes. Well, he kind of was. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in this museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device? Yes, of course I do. Because they're presents that I gave to Katie. And this is an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago. I gave her four new rock salts, lamps, and four fl fluorescent cloths I used in the contest. Wow, that sounds nice! Fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps? <laughs> Seems the only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. Well, didn't, <laughs> wasn't there a rock salt lamp that had blood, blood on it? On yep. it? Okay. Yes, there was. <laughs> That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. Why? That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy! But back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Hmm, I can't even imagine it. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? <laughs> Probably. The rock salt lamp, the cloth, and the rainbow light device. They all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have the feeling I saw one more of the same cloth. Yeah. It's true! Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag. What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm. I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Let's show Delisha and have her confirm my suspicions. Also, she dumped that rag in there. <laughs> yes, she did. I'd like to ask you something, since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Oh, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with me Mechatoxin X. It even says on the warning label, Danger, do not mix with Normalium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Uh, well... It might be possible if they've seen the Angel's Recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. Yeah, it was like the recipe book for drugs. <laughs> Since it also contains the recipe to prepare my Megatoxin X. Interesting. How is it I remember her voice more than French lady's voice? I don't know. I thought you, your voice for Kate was just French Belle. I know Belle is French, but like... I was supposed to say, I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Does this mean that you've also seen the contents of the Angel's Recipe? Yes, that's a given, of course. The pharma- the pharmaceutical? Pseudical. Pharma oh, the pharmaceutical, yeah, duh. The pharmaceutical company I work for is Master Group. It's the company that makes the Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X. The cold medicine that promises to kill colds good. After Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. 
So this woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists. <laughs> that sounds like the worst superhero like duo ever. The group of elite, elite pharmacists, pharmacists team up to fight <laughs> the X-Men. It's like Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> Doofenshmirtz Pharmaceutical Company. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can see that. Everyone thinks he's a pharmacist. <laughs> Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looked similar to this? Fine! I'm not going to give any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag! Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Fine! Wrong again! It's a fluorescent cloth! It's fi, not fi. Fi! 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 Hips, kids! Hips, <laughs> kids! That was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice, since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. And right after that, I was called to the Autumn Palace. So that's the moment Larry captured in his so-called sketch of beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given to Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covered in the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So that's when I realized that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. The poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure after all. Eighteen years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. When you're wrapped in chocolate, the body's preserved so perfectly. <laughs> it's like... Mwah! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body? Fluorescent cloth data updated in the organizer. Hey, do you, do you recognize his family, Delisha? Oi! That thing you've got there is rather cute, Miley. But the color's rather unappealing. N now if I were to coat it with fresh cream. Stop it! Nothing? The sketch. Is this the one called the Sketch of Beauties? Oh, we haven't shown it to Judge Courtney yet. No, we haven't. We haven't been able to present anything to Judge Courtney. That is true. That's the what the one who drew it called it. Although it seems you were excluded from it. Was that boy perhaps Loris? I'd love to chat with him one-on-one -on -one later. Hmm. It would be my pleasure to introduce you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you're making an awfully evil face right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's true. I know how to make the poison gas. But even if you know how to fire a gun, it doesn't mean you actually shot one, right? I haven't actually decided that you're the criminal yet, though. I may be a great thief, but that doesn't mean I would commit evil deeds! And I may be a pastry chef, but that's a, that doesn't mean I can make desserts! <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're a fake pastry chef. Yeah. Can we talk to Courtney now? Nope. <laughs> Larry. Hey, gee, I'm still sketching Venus! Alright, fine. Sorry I bothered I'm you. Your Miss, uh, nope. Uh, still the same. But push! Maybe, ah! maybe we you pushed me in the fountain! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've recovered the victim's body, but uh, no new information. Maybe we need to talk to Alder Dude. Um, you mean Uncle Ray? Uncle Ray. Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of a person Miss Hall is? Hmm? Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie? No. <laughs> well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray can say is that Kate I know is a truly admirable woman. For 18 years, she has always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the mansion by Master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? But she's his daughter. Is she his daughter? Adopted daughter, yeah. Adopted, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and her job taken from her, she could only live on with the Solomon dance that Mr. Master had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world-famous actress, though. 
Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. Oh man, I got you got kicked out of manager. I would be so successful then buy you out. Yeah. <laughs> Day. That's like Luigi's Mansion times three. <laughs> Basically, it yeah. seems that she even got back the angel's recipe that had been taken by the master group. Dang, girl. Also, that's suspicious. <laughs> yeah, but she's pretty cool though. This mansion where she lived with Mr. Master had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. It seems that Mr. Shields sympathizes with Miss Hall. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. Thanks, dude. That's all I needed. What Kate did was contained in the book. Yeah. Riddle's diary. <laughs> the method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the Angel's recipe. And the current owner of the Angel's recipe is Miss Hall. Ah, so then that means... Indeed. It means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies for what they are. <laughs> Investigation finally complete! <laughs> Took three episodes. Jumps into the fountain. Now, all that's left is to wait for the results of the teapot. Dude. Dude. Oh, okay. Well, we get dude, to continue. Dude. Dude. And part five. April 2nd, 2.33 p.m. Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Oh, I have a report! We've detected traces of normalium from the teapot! You, you can't be serious! It's just like Mr. Edgeworth said! Darn it! Did Mr. Edgeworth take the title of the best from me again? Mr. DeBest, it seems like you have an obsession about being the best. <laughs> but when you're on a case, winning and losing is of no importance. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Obviously it's best to be the best at everything! If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. What? <laughs> I... Overruled. Please stop harassing Sebastian. Sebastian, a person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. Justine! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Please leave it to me. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? Y yeah that's a great idea. I'll be right back then. All right. I'll be waiting. <laughs> she just got him out of there. Judge Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. DeBest. Well then. Mr. Curator, can miss. you... Oh, I... I... Okay, no one ever uses Miss. Miss? Yeah. That's not Miss. That is Miss. No, Mrs. is M-I-S-S. -S. That's Ms. That's an abbreviation. Oh, okay. Mrs. Well, Mrs. Never... is M-R-S. That's M -R -S. with an R-S. Ms. is M-M-Z. That's Ms. Like old Ms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. M Ms. is M-Z. I've never seen it like that. That's, so that's how why... they abbreviate it. Oh, that's yep. how I got it wrong. Miss Curator, can you tell us why the Normalium was discovered in the teapot? I was not aware that it contained such a chemical. I suppose it may not have... It may have been an ingredient from the detergent I had used. So you're saying that you did not put it in deliberately? No, of course not. There is no way for me to have known how to create the poison gas. Despite being a former actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. What do you mean? The angel's recipe is in your possession, and the method to create the poison gas is contained inside that recipe book. So you must have known how to create it. I'm surprised you knew about that. Miss Curator, is this true? It's true that information about the poison gas is contained in one of the recipes. However, just, just because I saw it does not mean I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell me what set off the poison gas? It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the glass cat in case with a burner. <laughs> I see. If he had locked himself in that room of his own will and then set off the poison gas, wouldn't that suggest suicide? Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Who would commit suicide by going to a fancy art gallery, setting up a poison gas trap, and setting it off? To set... I don't know. 
Furthermore, I wouldn't have been able to obtain a chemical like Megatonic's Tonic X. <laughs> Megatonic X! <laughs> For Mega your hair. <laughs> Megatoxin X. That may be true, but you could have stolen it from someone else. That reminds me. I met up with Katie a week ago and... That night was when I realized that my Megatoxin X was gone! Katie, you couldn't have... Madame Delisha always carried her medicine bag around with her. Anyone could have stolen it. That's right. I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Kate, can't you tell us what you're hiding? I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. Monsieur Shields, you'd help me as well. Setting a trap on one of the gallery's exhibits, and then disguising the rooms. I just think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. There is no guards or security cameras at this gallery. That seems like a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's a an very, art museum. A very convenient problem. <laughs> all you have to do is have Suellen do the helicopter down <laughs> and roll yes! up all the paintings. <laughs> 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 then she returns to Nina, Nina Fafa. Fafa. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about that. I wonder if anybody gets these obscure R for references. What you have to do is you just have to put like two seconds of that scene in there. Maybe. If any ill-intentioned person wanted to sneak into the gallery, like Sue Ellen, yeah. <laughs> it would have been easy task for them. Th then isn't it like an all-you-can-steal buffet in here? You have to be careful. You never know when the great thief could appear. It doesn't sound like a joke when Kay says it. She hasn't stolen anything. <laughs> it's just Actually, her weird gimmick. Actually, Monsieur Gustavia apparently entered the gallery before it opened. I couldn't wait. It was so it great. It was so good. <laughs> well, I'm beat. <laughs> Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Kate's iron guard. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> the shortest part to ever. Hmm, this might be a good time to use the technique your old man taught me. The technique my father taught you? Wizard's chess? <laughs> Have you ever seen this Magatama before? Wait till you see what this does. <laughs> this case is deeply connected to the one from 18 years ago. If we just pursue the present case, it may seem like there's a lot we don't understand. But if we try turning things around, there might be a hint in the case from the past. Thinking the other way around. Did my father do that too? For example, just consider the relationship between the past case and Kate. Miss Hall melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures 18 years ago. And today, Mr. Dover's works are on display in this gallery. It can't be she. I see. Now I know what to ask her. <laughs> That's good to hear. In that case, Uncle Ray will just watch over you as you do your work. Miss Catherine Hall, 18 years ago, it seems that you melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures. Yes. I was young and inexperienced, and I did something inexcusable. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand, either. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you seek her testimony? Yes, I would like her to tell me about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I would like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If you insist that this is related to the case at hand, I will allow it. Miss Curator, your testimony, if you please. Very well. If that will clear your suspicions about me. Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Art Gallery. Oh, she does have a Zula eyebrows. I told you. <laughs> Zula eyebrows. Therefore, she's evil. Yep. 18 years after Monsieur Master was arrested, I was finally able to buy back this mansion. So that was this year? Yeah. Okay. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre Hoquet's works from all over the world. Really quickly, apparently. <laughs> like, oh, like, I was just waiting to pass this <laughs> on. <laughs> Even though he's not actually French. It's like, it's like a garage sale for art pieces like all over the world. She's like, I'll take that one and that one and that one. <laughs> Linguini had a lot of them. He didn't know how valuable they were. <laughs> <laughs> from Ratatouille? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, I guess this will work. <laughs> After all, it was my dream to open up the Zodiac Art Gallery. Oh. It's wonderful that your dream has come true. <laughs> what do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? It reminds me of that song from Cinderella. A dream is a wish your, your heart, heart makes. makes. 
I don't believe there was anything strange about her testimony. Judge Courtney, I believe in the courtroom it is standard to cross-examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there are no contradictions? Hmm. You speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. Meanwhile, in the corner... Like, Larry's just Larry's sketching. Larry's just sketching, like, what's... what's hot babes? Hot babes? <laughs> <laughs> he just has, like, eight po pictures now <laughs> in, them, in different poses. Uh-huh. <laughs> Larry, stop sketching. <laughs> it must have taken a lot of hard work these past 18 years to buy back the mansion. The place full of my memories with Monsieur Master. It is the only place for me. Ooh, oh, she's dancing again. Oh boy, oh boy. No matter what, at any cost, I want it back. She, she looks like she's having fun. She sounds like Lamoire. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> well, she is a former actress. Singing and dancing is her livelihood. <laughs> I love Same. that face on Ray. <laughs> Enough he looks like he's gonna get some ice cream and apple pie. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Enough with the singing. Please continue your testimony. Then, in boo, order boo, to maintain boo. it, I decided to manage it. Is it art gallery? Are you managing this gallery by yourself? Yes. Well, I say manage, but it only opened today, and I must continue protecting this mansion. So this is the first day it opened? I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, it was the opening day. Oh. So. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Old Piglet. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. He still sounds like that. <laughs> so that Monsieur Master has a place to return to. So she took back the mansion for Mr. Master's sake. Kate, I'm so sorry. I was powerless. It's not your fault, Monsieur Shields. I couldn't do anything either. All I can do now is continue to protect the mansion. I collected Pierre Hoquet's works. Pierre Hoquet. That's Mr. Dover's alias, correct? Yes, it is the name he used when he worked as a sculptor in France. About collecting his works... France, not France. <laughs> France! <laughs> How did you prepare the Taurus and Gemini sculptures? I heard that Mr. Dover passed away before he completed those two sculptures. Oh, that's pretty amazing. You see, I had, if you put anything in chocolate, <laughs> it preserves it perfectly. <laughs> no, it's more like the sculptures melted. How did she carve it from scratch when she didn't have a photo of the completed st uh, statues? Well, she had photos of the completed statues, apparently. I had the sculptures in the Winter Palace specially made based on the photos I took. Oh? Could you tell us about that in more detail? After all, it was my dream to open Zodiac Art Gallery. So she just like went on Broadway, was like Alphaba and Wicked, and then made enough to there buy There ain't no way that girl's Alphaba. She would have been- Glinda. No, she would have been, um, Alphaba's Nessa. sister. Nessa. <laughs> she would have been Nessa, or she would have been, um- Madame Morrible. She just was in a lot of old person makeup. She, she had like pillows. Around her make her fat. Wear a fat suit. Yeah, wear Meta, uh, what, Meta Marvel doesn't have to be fat. She has to have It's not fat like Ursula. Or no, yeah, that's true. No, Ursula doesn't have to be fat either. On Broadway, she's like the skinny thing. That, that's Ursula's weird sister from the sequel. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't seen the sequel. Neither have I, but I know what she looks like. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Opening the Zodiac Art Gallery was your dream. This is all happening in his <laughs> head. <laughs> He's like, Ursula can't, doesn't have to be fat. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, man, like, that prosecutor is so smart. I wonder what's going through his head. head. I don't think Ursula has to be fat. Yeah. But there's a certain association for people who've seen the Disney movie. The truth is, I wanted to manage the gallery together with Monsieur Master. Mm -mm -mm. She's gonna mm -mm. sing! <laughs> Singing and dancing and all kinds of sweets. That's the kind of gallery I dreamed about. Was she planning on staging a musical in here? Yes. Jeffrey Master disobeyed the goddess of law. It is unfortunate, but I'm afraid that your dream will never come to pass. Wow! What? Courtney! Courtney's With just like, I don't comes. care. <laughs> no! Monsieur Master's innocent. The prosecutor at the time did not believe it, but... In order to protect Catherine Hall, 
Jeffrey Master gave a false confession. They were both trying to protect each other. That's sad. I prepared replica- oh, I prepared replicas of the sculptures- Hold it! We hadn't read that! <laughs> Based on the photos from the that I took. By photos, do you mean the ones taken in Isaac Dover's room? Yes. You seem quite familiar with the events from 18 years ago, Monsieur Edgeworth. You know why? Because we live in our father's brain. <laughs> That's just, not true. We just go into the past. It's like everything is through Edgeworth's eyes. <laughs> I'm looking at life through Edgeworth's eyes. eyes. Searching for Edgeworth to idolize. <laughs> it's just Edgeworth Feeling the Edgeworth. pain as Edgeworth dies. His dad. <laughs> <laughs> the Liberty's Kids theme song, but every other word is replaced with Edgeworth. Edgeworth. <laughs> I need, I need like a picture of Edgeworth in front of like a British flag, and Edgeworth <laughs> in front of an American flag with like him off in, you know, like the off in the distance. Yeah. Where there's the Sarah, 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 Sarah looking, looking at the <laughs> yes, guys just with Edgeworth, and they're like. <laughs> 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 no one's seen Liberty's Kids, but it's a you great show. You have to show. watch it. It's amazing. It's a great oh, show. I turned on your jump rope by mistake. I mean, no one's going to see a light up jump yeah, rope. Yeah, I want to turn it off, though. Oh, it'll turn off automatically, unless you want to involve the Whatever! <laughs> Just read. So the sculptures in the Winter Palace were replicas? They melted and I didn't even get to see them once. No, the Sherbet sculptures shouldn't have been replicas. Miss Hall is obviously lying. After all the trouble it took to prepare them, it's a shame they melted. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are the same sherbet sculptures from 18 years ago. Yeah, she knows how they melted. Unless I point that out to her, I won't be able to find out the truth. 18 years, 18 years, then in order to maintain it, I decided that would Wait, whoa. Well, oh, yeah, she bought it. Oh, I went back by mistake. Whoops. It was my dream. It was my House. dream. And then there's the Winter Pals photo. It's the desserts. And they're identical. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it's this. Nope. <laughs> I told you. No, you didn't. You were silent. No, I was Oh, like, you thought it was the sculptures? I thought it was the sculptures. That's no. also wrong. Okay, well, fine. Then we're both wrong. Half yeah, we times. are. And I've played it before, so Rack you're still smart. Rack salt lamp. Me. Or it's a sketch of beauties. Sketch of beauties. No, I think it's the, I think it's the, the rock salt lamp. How would that do it? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, oh, it's that, duh. Uh, it's the thing that we got last time we played. <laughs> but even though it was like a few, uh, maybe an hour ago, we forgot. <laughs> Did you really think that your excuses would continue to hold up? No matter how much you lie, you can't deny the composition of the sculptures. From the analysis results, it's quite clear. That the sculptures in the Winter Palace are the sherbet sculptures Mr. Dover created. Oi! Miley is a pharmacist, it's my turn to shine. What we call sugar actually comes in many different varieties and tastes. Even if the sculptures were replicas, it's nearly impossible to re re replicate the composition. I see. Thank you for the explanation. Though I don't recall asking for one. You traitor! <laughs> that, Miss Hall, means you couldn't have melted the sherbet sculptures back then. You stole them and preserved them for 18 years. She just had a really, really big freezer in her basement. <laughs> huge. It's a huge freezer. Ah! What? She preserved the sherbet for 18 whole years? Hmm. If you freeze it properly, it's not impossible. Silence, please. <laughs> I thought you were going to say science peons. Science? Or silence peons. Science peons. <laughs> <laughs> science peons. Those are my favorite kinds of peons. Miss Curator, what do you have to say? I can't believe you already uncovered so much. So you're admitting that you stole the Shepard sculptures? That took like three testimonies or less. No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I cannot admit to such a thing. There isn't any proof that I stole them after all. Did I spit on it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> also, I couldn't have stolen the sculptures 18 years ago. I don't think they would have been easy to steal without the police noticing. She's true. She's got her cart. She literally could just oh. be like, cup tea of crumpets. Anything for the trolley dance. Yeah, anything, yes. <laughs> anything for the trolley dance. <laughs> hmm, is that so? I don't know what you did 18 years ago. As such, how can I judge how difficult it would have been to steal them? 
It looks like you won't give up so easily. I don't intend on giving up until I learn the truth. I understand. Then I shall tell you what I did 18 years ago. Thank <music> you.